Hi, question number six. A box of biscuits contains 30 biscuits, some of which are wrapped in gold foil and some of which are unwrapped. Some of the biscuits are chocolate covered, 12 biscuits are wrapped in gold foil and of these biscuits, seven are chocolate covered. There are 17 chocolate covered biscuits in total. Okay, chocolate covered biscuits in total will be 17. Right, now 12 biscuits are wrapped in gold foil. Here we've got gold foil. All right, so 12 of them are wrapped in gold foil and of these seven are chocolate covered. Seven of them are chocolate covered and wrapped in gold foil. The total is 17. So that's going to be 10 because 17 minus 7 is going to give you 10. And uh, <coughs> so what else do we have? 12 biscuits are wrapped in gold foil. Gold foil, we have a total of 12. Therefore, 12 minus 7 is going to give you 5. Now then, 17, 30 take away 17, it's going to be 13. And 13 take away 5 is going to give you 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. So here's the table, it's been filled out. For the second part, find the probability that the biscuit is wrapped in gold foil. The biscuit is selected at random. What is the probability that it is wrapped in gold foil? How many are wrapped in gold foil? Twelve. So as simple as that, the probability is going to be wrapped in gold foil is 12 over 30. You work that out in your calculator, you're going to end up with 0 0.4. So this is your answer to the second part of the question. The biscuit is returned to the box. An unwrapped biscuit, look at this here, unwrapped biscuit is then selected at random from the box. How many unwrapped biscuits we got? 18. Now, um, find the probability that the biscuit is chocolate covered. Unwrapped, 18. 10 of them are chocolate covered. So 10 over 18. Therefore, for this, sec uh, for this second, third part rather, probability that it is unwrapped, and it is chocolate covered, it's going, to, it's going to be 10 over 18, which is going to give us um, 0 0.55 and so on, so 0 0.556. So here we are for the second part. The biscuit is returned to the box. A biscuit is then selected at random from the box. We don't know which kind of biscuit, uh, whether it's wrapped or unwrapped. Find the probability that the biscuit is unwrapped given that it is chocolate covered. It's conditional probability. If it is unwrapped, here, and it is chocolate covered, here again, 10, over chocolate covered, how many we've got? 17. So, the probability that it is unwrapped, given that it is chocolate covered, all these here are, un, I mean, not chocolate covered. So, we're not going to be bothered about this. So, I've got 10 over 17. I've got 17 of them, they are chocolate covered, and out of the 17, we've got 10 unwrapped, and seven wrap. We're, in, we're interested in the in the ones that are unwrapped, unwrapped. Okay, so we got then ten over seventeen. So that's the answer to this question. You work it out in your calculator. You're going to end up with zero decimal five double eight. The biscuit is returned to the box. Nasser then takes four biscuits without replacement from the box. Find the probability that he takes exactly two biscuits. Okay, so the probability that he takes exactly two biscuits um, is going to be exactly two wrapped biscuits. How many wrapped biscuits we got? Twelve. He's going to take two out of them, therefore he's going to choose two out of twelve. The other two will be those that are not wrapped, those that are unwrapped, out of the eighteen. Eighteen unwrapped. So 2 out of 18 is going to be 2 picked out of 18, divided by the total. We're choosing 4 biscuits, isn't it? Nasser has chosen 4 biscuits. Out of how many biscuits? 30 in all. So you picked out 4 out of 30. And if you do that on your calculator, you're going to end up with 0 0.368. And here we are for this part, I mean for this question taken from June 2012, Advanced Level Maths HSC S1.